Hey folks, Sylvia's here. <clears throat> I'm back on Leaf. I just spent way too much time <laughs> fiddling with my recording program. It uh, it just had like an update, basically, um, which is cool. But it seems to have changed the like. Okay, so if I like shape the recording program's um, like window really weird. You know, so that it's, like, maybe two inches tall, but, like, five inches across. Uh, there's, like, little excess there, right, on the sides. And it used to be black, and it switched it to gray. Um, which is cool. Like, I have no problems with that. Um, but... So, yeah, it's, like, suddenly gray now, and um, I'm going to just boat to Darashia. Uh, it's the same gray as Tibia. So it looked like when I looked at it after just starting it, that it was, um, my screen wasn't set up correctly. In fact, hold on, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> God bless me. In fact, it's possible it is still set up incorrectly and that this video is going to come out looking horrible. And because it's a leaf video, if that's the case, I can't, like, redo it or anything, so we'll just have to deal with it. Um, but, but, but. All right, let's take those and deposit most of that. I should just left that in my... Yeah, I'm going to just stick that back in here for now. I don't think it's more than 100 gold to boat to Darashia. I'm going to be all sorts of irritated if it's more than 100 gold to boat to Darashia, though. Um, I should drop those off, too, while I'm here. Eh, we'll be going past the Darashia depot. It's fine. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna do Terramites again. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do Apes or Terramites. Um, and I kind of, I spoke about, like, what my plans were in the future in the last, like, two videos, but I'm, I'm revising that slightly. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to do Terramites or Apes. Um, I want to go to Darashia. Darashia. Exactly, 100 gold. Awesome. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I was gonna go do apes because I wanted to split up, uh, my apes and my teramites so that I wasn't making the same, like, you know, three videos over and over again. We're gonna change it up a little bit, though. Um, and the reason for the change up is because, as far as I know, Banatoa, or whatever that place is called, the ape city is the only place to task apes at. I don't know if apes show up anywhere else. I think that's the only spot, to be honest. Maybe there's some of them up in Yalahar, maybe. Um, but, I mean, like, that's the only place you could task them. And because I was having an annoyances with the Sabangs, I figured I might wait to do the apes until I can get my hands on Enchanted Spears. So we're looking at waiting on level, what is that, 45 to get Enchanted Spears. So three levels for that. I could just buy them, but I just it hurts my soul to buy them. Uh, more importantly... I will need to get food before I do this. But more importantly, there is um, two Terramite spots that I have access to. I could technically go up to Zal, but I would have to do the New Frontier crap, and I'm all sorts of not wanting to do that. Really? Really? Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to hit the Terramite place that's here um, in Darashia, which came out in the summer update. So this place is... Uh, only existed for what, like, let's say eight months now, give or take. I'm just hoping I can get enough food from these, like, nomads and uh, camels that are around here. Um, hoping. But yeah, so I'll do this. Um, I'll save the finish, the remainder of the ape task for after I hit um, 45. Which I think is fine, probably. Um, I'm not doing a great job getting meat, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. Alright, there we go. Got some meat. Don't die. Good. Yeah, I didn't want you to die on the, uh, the thing. Eat the meat. Should be two hyenas up here. They probably don't have anything on them, but maybe I'll get lucky. Yeah, hyenas are kind of crappy food sources. 
Most of the time they drop nothing but a worm or nothing, and when they do drop meat, it's like one piece. They're usually pretty disappointing. But anyway, so yeah, plan A is I'll hit this when I finish this Terramite task, which I should finish on this video. Uh, then I'll pick up... I'm thinking I'll probably pick up um, Stone Golems and Gargoyles, and I'll task those guys. Which means I'll be going back up to Svargaron for a while, but... Hey, what can you do? Uh, I think there's also a spot to task them in uh, Liberty Bay, but I would have to do the access quests for that, and again, I'm all sorts of not excited about doing access quests. Wow. Alright, so my food search has been hugely disappointing. There we go. I've got one piece of excess meat on me. Great. <laughs> awesome. Whatever, we'll just roll it. Oh, I also don't have a shovel. Alright, well, I guess we're going back into town, because that's where I wanted to be. <sighs> All sorts of annoying right now. Yeah, okay, so, like, this is one of the, uh, the annoying issues with doing these videos, but, like, alright, so now i got to walk back into town and go get a, uh, a shovel. <laughs> I guess while I'm there, I'll buy, like, a dragon ham or something and come out. But anyway. Might as well kill that. <laughs> The sand crawler shells can be expensive depending on all sorts of things. Yeah, I shouldn't have wasted the mana, but I just didn't want to keep throwing spears at it like an idiot. So yeah, though, that's the game plan for now. Finish up Terramites, do uh, gargoyles and stone golems, and then work from there. Should probably actually do stone golems and gargoyles now. I just don't feel like it. Yeah, because then I could do like one video of stone gargoyles and golems, come back, finish up terramites, go back, do. Oh, I can't do that. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Forget everything I just said because I'm an idiot. All right. Do we have a food source here? Candy canes. They don't really count. Might as well take the uh, the rope and there we go. You know what? Maybe I should just buy brown mushrooms. Yeah, let's just buy brown mushrooms. Screw it. Brown. Oh, I apparently already have brown mushrooms. All right. So where are the brown mushrooms? Not in this one. Not in that one. Although that one does have a random assortment of things in it. <laughs> where? Oh, where? Hey, look, I got another rope. Alright, I probably will need to sort my depots at some point uh, and take care of all this stuff. Huh. Brown mushrooms. There we go. How many of them do I have? Okay. Right, and the stuff I got from the Light Bearer event. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> Off we go. Take two. <clears throat> so, God, I'm tired. Oh, man. So, to side note, though, yeah, this is like my... So last week after I made my last videos and I talked about how I quit my job and then I talked about how I didn't really quit my job and I'm just working the weekends. Um, I ended up going up to my aunt's to get my hair cut because she's a hairdresser. So now I have less hair. Um, my hair looks awful when it gets long, by the way, people. The, like... <laughs> to keep talking about this, the like back of my hair, like at the back of my neck, gets uh, curly, but the rest of my hair kind of stays like straight. So it's that that looks stupid, and then right above my ears look, gets a little curly too. So I just look like a complete idiot when my hair is long. Um, but yeah, I got that cut. But So I was up at my aunt's for uh, like the whole week, basically. I didn't come home until uh, Thursday. Um, yay, termites! I kind of like let these guys casually hit me. A lot, but uh, it is worth mentioning that they're basically like the same power level as Cyclopses. 
you probably shouldn't let them just be, like, smacking you in the face. But it's whatever. Uh, 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 uh. They also have that really weak ranged attack, which I think is funny. Ah, uh, but yeah, so I was up there at my auntie's. Uh, I went up, I guess, like, Monday night. Um, and on Monday, I had to go to work with my granny, because we didn't go up on the weekend because of the blizzard. So, yeah, like, I had to work Monday, which kind of, like, screwed up Monday. Went to my aunt's Monday night. Um, was there until Thursday. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't really get to enjoy my first, like, week of not working, basically. But, man, so we're, like... I haven't gone to bed yet, so, like, in my mind, the day hasn't changed. That's how I, like, operate. Um, <laughs> so, like, until I go to sleep, to me, it's still Monday. But, I mean, like, in actuality... It's Tuesday at 5.19 uh, in the morning. But, like, yeah. So, I still consider this, for all intents and purposes, to be Monday. Um, so, yeah, like, so far it's only been one day of my, like, five days off in a row. Um, well, no, because technically two days, because I didn't work Sunday either. Right, because I only work fri Fridays and Saturdays. But, yeah, so, like, right now I'm just, like, I'm on cloud nine right now. I am so incredibly happy. Like, I'm relaxed. Like, I woke up today, and I had slept too long. I'd slept for maybe, like, nine and a half hours, and it was, like, 6 p.m. <laughs> the sun was all down. And normally I would, like, wake up like that, I'd be like, oh, crap. Like, it's, like, 6, you know, it's 6. I'm not going to fully be awake until, like, 6.30. You know, I got to, like, go brush my teeth, go to the bathroom. You know, I'm going to be a little tired and groggy. I got to get something to eat. Like, I'm not going to be ready to really do anything until, like, 6.30, 7 o'clock. And then, like, you know, I got work at 10. So, you know, it's like, I got to start getting ready, depend like, around 9. So, like, I really don't got that much time. So, like, I woke up and I had that, like, ugh, man, it's late. And I was like, wait. I don't have anything to do. Like, I don't got to go anywhere. I'm, I'm free right now. I'm free. I'm like, Yeah. Yeah, I'm free. Woo. We are. And, you know, I just, like, smiled. And then instead of getting out of bed immediately, I kind of just, like, laid in my bed for a little while. and was like, yo, I'm just going to, like, read something on my phone. And just kind of, like, put it around. I'm super happy because, like, that I'm not going to do anything. And I'm just going to, like, you know, like, sit here and kind of waste time thing. Is something I haven't done in a really long time. Because I'm constantly being like, ugh. Like, it's not like my job takes up a ton of time. Like, it's a 40-hour job. But because, like, my job makes me sort of unhappy, at least it did, um, I feel like all of my waking time needs to be spent in something that's giving me, like, the maximum amount of, uh, like, enjoyment per time spent. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's like EXP gain per minute kind of situation. Like, sure, I can hunt trolls on my level, like, 120 character or something like that, but that's silly. I can, I can more effectively use my time for my EXP gain by hunting things that are, you know, better. And that's how I, like, operate with my, like, my free time, where I'm like, ugh, need to maximize enjoyment gains per minute. But yeah, it's really nice and, like, relaxing to just be able to be like, uh, I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> no, lay here and smile. So yeah, I'm doing, like, great right now. I'm super, super happy. It's like the greatest thing in the world. I don't even mind going to work anymore, either. Like, you know, this weekend when I, like, went to work, I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Get my, like, my minor paycheck in. It's just two days in a row. Plus, like, their, their third shifts, um, and I've, like, fine-tuned working third shift. Because when I work third shift, I'm by myself, right? Um, so, like, I don't have any kind of, like, annoyances where, like, one of my coworkers sucks and is, like, shirking all of their responsibilities and things like that. When I'm on third shift, I'm the one shirking all of my responsibilities. I, um, I literally, like, I either play games or read on my phone for the first four hours of work. I mean, I wait on customers, uh, for sure. And, like, you know, I probably, like, get myself something to eat and get, like, uh, you know, something to drink. But as actual work that doesn't involve customers, I literally do none of it for the first... <laughs> For the first, like, four hours of my job. 
And then I start at two, and then depending on how things go, I probably waste another hour in the process of um, between two to four. Because at four is like when other coworkers start coming in, and is where I like can't just be standing around doing nothing. Um, so like depending on how many customers I'm getting and how fast and like I'm doing other things and like how clean the store is, uh, I probably waste about another anywhere between 30 minutes to like an hour and 15 minutes in that two hour block also. And then I do basically all of my work in that last like two hours. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm a horrible employee. Like they should totally fire me. I mean, they're not going to cause they don't have anybody else. And Hey, look at that. I leveled up. Wee. Two more levels. Yeah, like, they don't have anybody else, and, you know, I, like, I do all the stuff that can be, like, you can check to make sure I've done it. You know, like, I don't just leave the floor, like, uncleaned with, like, trash all over the place. Um, but all the things that, like, you can't really check if I've done it, uh, unless you, like, actively take things apart or stuff like that. Yeah, just don't do it. Screw it. Hate that place. <laughs> so, yeah, working third shift is awesome, because it's, like, basically not working. Um, so yeah, got no problems. Woo! Now, I'm pretty sure I did do a video of this back on the test server. Um, kind of showcasing this place on Sylvius, but I definitely do not remember anything about it. It does appear to be pretty large, though. Although, as a negative to this one over the other one, um, the one in, like, the Anchorman Mountains that leads to Port Hope, uh, has that nice elephant spawn on the other side of it. <laughs> and elephants and termites are basically like the same power level. No, fight the other one. There we go. Um, so, I mean, if you can take one of them, you can definitely take the other one kind of situation. And uh, unlike the stupid nomads and the stupid camels and the stupid hyenas, the elephants drop a stupid amount of food. Everything's stupid, though. So, yeah, I mean, the elephants are a great source of food. That's actually one of the awesome things about uh, Port Hope, actually. There's just a bunch of food sor sources on the surface. Do, do, do. And while we're at it... Alright, let's do that, and then we'll hit the right button while we're at it this time. How am I... Alright, 100... Alright, 195, that's not bad. Give me my 11 gold coins. Boop, 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 boop. No, stay away. I appreciate that there's more, like, two square uh, thick hallways in this one. As opposed to the uh, the other one that had a lot of, like, single spots. But there's still enough that I can, like, retreat myself into, which is nice. It makes a... Uh, oh, I'm stuck. Can I push these guys? Okay, guess I can. Oh, yeah, and then it totally was unnecessary because I killed it before it could do anything else. All right, so what do we got here? Do-do. Do-do. Oh, you suck at life. Ah, uh, okay, I killed. For some reason, I thought that one wasn't killed by my spell. I don't. I really don't know why. <laughs> I just thought it was still alive there for a second. I'm surprised, uh, well, I mean, Amer is an American server, and it is 5.26 a.m., so, I mean, it's, like, it's kind of fair that nobody's online, and that's the only time I've ever been in here. Actually, um, earlier I had to hop on Sylvius to go make sure I knew where this place was, because I don't want to be, like, wandering around confused in the desert while I'm recording. Have you guys watching me be like, I don't know where I am, I'm lost. Uh, that would not make for a good video, so... I did, uh, I did hop on Sylvius and make sure I could figure this place out. But, uh, yeah, like, I don't know, this place seems pretty solid, and I'm, and it's a task monster on top of that, but I'm surprised I'm not seeing... I, I feel like, I guess, uh, a lot of people at this, like, level range are either not premium accounts, or they're premium, they're premium characters, and they're starting on, like, new servers with, like, friends or things like that. And they've got somebody to kind of, like, help them power level. <clears throat> so even if they are tasking, they're tasking the other monsters that give bosses and aren't wasting their time on Terramites. 
So, I mean, that might be a reason why this place is usually pretty empty. I mean, because the... I don't know. I see other people in the other Terramite Cave a lot. Do 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 the, uh, the little sections of water, I guess, are making my map kind of weird. <laughs> I keep thinking they're staircases. And it's a little bit annoying. Eh, nothing. I automatically, like, went back to loot them, but nothing. Ah, oh, so, anyway, like, funny story about... Oh. That's kind of awesome. I mean, I gotta go back there, because I need to finish exploring that, and it drives me nuts that I didn't explore all of that, but that was kind of awesome. Uh, so yeah, funny story about work. This is, like, not... It's gonna come off as me complaining, but not really. Um, so anyway, one of the things is, we have, like, hot soups at the place, right? Chili, you know, chicken noodle soup, whatever. Hot soups. <clears throat> uh, and I guess they decided that, like... So all of our, like, food service department is not operational when I work third shift. But they decided they're going to keep uh, chili because they decided the chili sells well enough and the chili can also stay on the burner long enough without it becoming, like, completely horrible. So they're going to keep the chili on during the night. All right, whatever. I don't care. Um, so basically, like, in responsibilities that that adds to me, uh, all that means to me is that... Every so often I need to mosey on over to the uh, the soup container thing, and it has to, like, the way it works is it's like a big basin with three openings in the top of it where, like, the metal pans or pots of soup go. And uh, inside of the basin is water. And then there's a thing that, like, heats the water. So then the pots uh, are held in this, like, the top part, like a metal plate, basically, but the bottoms of the pots sit in the water, and then the water, you know, like, gets hot. And that's how the, the pots are heated. Um, I guess that, like, I don't know, <laughs> prevents the soup from, like, burning or something. I don't really know. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Uh, but anyway, the, like, so the water's not exactly boiling, but it steams. And uh, eventually the water will, the water level will go down. And when the water level goes down, eventually the burner will not be covered with water, and then the burner will burn itself out. So all you have to do is, like, every two hours is, like, fill it up with, like, a pot full of water. Um, it's definitely, like, not hard work or anything like that, but it's definitely something, like, if I forget to do it, it can kind of cause a big problem because it could break the thing. Um, and I've definitely forgotten to do it a couple of times. Um, mostly all the times I forgot to do it was when I came in and, like, nobody was like, oh, hey, Silvius, by the way, the, the chili's on, make sure you take care of it. So, like, I come in and I just do my normal thing, which involves, like, standing at the cash register and waiting on customers while playing on my phone. Right? <laughs> so I do that, and then um, it turns out, you know, like, the, the chili was on. And I'm like, whoops. Uh, more importantly, though, I guess they put a new, like, container of chili in there. Um, this is the part I'm not fully sure of how it works, because, like, I've, I rarely interact with the people, because the, the food service person is out at, like, 9 um, so they're rarely there when I'm, I come in at 10, but anyway, so I guess the way it works is that they put the thing in there, and it needs to, like, fully heat, so the, um, the, like, the, the thing that, like, heats the water is, like, a normal stove, basically, um, it has, you know, multiple temperature settings, so they turn it on as high as it can go, so that the soup heats up as fast as possible, I'm trying to ignore him and then hop down, <laughs> okay, so. Um, so yeah, and then they don't put, like, a, a ladle or a spoon inside of the thing, so that way nobody can eat the soup, uh, because they don't want people taking the soup when it's not finished cooking and getting, like, E. cola or salmonella or whatever. So then after it heats, they then, you know, turn the temperature down, because they don't want it to be, like, you know, boiling hot chili. Um, and also, you know, then they put the ladle in it. So most of the nights where I've forgotten it was because um, they didn't put the ladle in. So when I, like, looked over there, I didn't see anything that would, like, overtly indicate the chili was ready to go. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so the other night I was, like, kind of hungry and I wasn't sure what to eat. Um, we actually sell some, like, cold sandwiches that are pretty decent. But, um, like, hoagies kind of things. Um, and we have, like, a rewards card for our store. And certain items are, like, bonus points on the rewards card, right? 
Um, so like I basically only buy things that are bonus points. <laughs> and if you get a hundred bonus points, it's uh, ten cents off a gallon on gas. So like you know, there's usually a food item that's like forty bonus points. So I mean, right there, plus it's uh, two points per dollar. So like the food item's like five fifty. Uh, you know, I think it rounds up to five dollars, and then you know five times two because it's two points per item, or two points per dollar would be. Um, 10 points right there, plus the bonus 40, so I would get, like, 50 points per sandwich, basically. So, anyway, the item that I wanted, and the, uh, the item that's bonus points now is, like, the sandwich that is just, like, lunch meat and cheese. Um, but I like to put onions, and, uh, I like to put onions on everything. Onions are my favorite food, I think. <laughs> but anyway, I usually put, like, lettuce and tomato and stuff on my sandwich, too. And, uh, Friday nights, the whole, um, like food service areas like condiment section is taken out so that it can be cleaned and all the stuff is put back into the cooler so like, I didn't really oh wow it's filled check that out I didn't really want to like go rooting through that and like taking out a whole bunch of things so I was like all right maybe I'll just eat the chili right <laughs> so like I go over and I was like talking to my uh, cousin who had come in that night with his friend uh, so I ended up, like, I put the ladle in the chili and whatnot. <clears throat> um, you know, filled it up with water, was kind of, like, showcasing the process off to him and whatnot. Uh, and then I'm like, alright, so a little while later, I was like, you know, maybe I should try the chili. Because, like, I'm not usually a chili fan. Um, but when I say I'm not, like, a chili fan, I'm not a fan of, like, homemade chili. I don't really like beans. And that's usually what, like, homemade chili is basically nothing but just a whole bunch of beans. Um, so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the homemade chili, or the, the store chili, alright? So I, like, I figure I get this, I get, like, a plastic spoon. I, cause I don't wanna, like, you know, I wasn't sure the best way to go about this, and I wanted to, like, take a spoonful of the chili before I purchased it for $2, and it de I determined I don't like it at all. Plus, you know, how long has it been sitting there? Uh, I may have let it, like, the water go wrong and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, I take the ladle. I get my little, like, plastic soup spoon. I scoop some out of the little, the ladle. So that way, like, nowhere near, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to, like, stick something in my mouth into the pot or something like that. I'm being all, like, considerate for my other people. So I have this little tiny spoonful <laughs> of chili, right? Like, a really, really tiny spoonful of chili. Um... And, like, I spill a little bit of it, too, while I'm, like, moving it around. Like, all around, I'm not doing a terribly good job. But anyway. So, like, I blow on it for a little while, and, you know, I'm holding it in the air. I'm like, all right, so that should be, like, sufficiently cool. So I stick it in my mouth. <laughs> and I guess I didn't realize... At this point in time, I hadn't realized how the process of them putting the chili up for me works. In that they put new chili up it needs to heat up, so they turn the heat up all the way, and that's why it doesn't have the ladle in it. So everything, like, I explained to you guys about the process of how this works, like, I hadn't realized up until this point. Um, so, like, I had put the ladle in it, and that's all I had done, was put the ladle in it. I didn't realize that it was still set to super boiling. Alright, so we have cleared out everything on the second floor. That's kind of cool, though, that this exists. Um... So, yeah, <laughs> I stick the spoonful of, like, literally boiling chili into my mouth, and it just burns my tongue, burns the, like, insides of my teeth and, like, my gums, and then burnt the roof of my mouth. It was amazing. I was kind of, like, furious, too, at the same time. I was like, seriously, people, like, <laughs> this should not be a problem. I'm, I'm so upset that this is a situation I had to deal with. I mean, it's, like, not really an overt complaint against the job, but, like, oh, my God, I was so, so incredibly annoyed. It took, like, three days for my mouth to heal, too. <laughs> for, like, three days, I was just, like, my whole mouth was, like, sore and everything. It sucked. Then I went and bought ice cream. It's, like, and the whole time I'm just, like, screaming about the store. Like, screw this place! My mouth hurts! All right. That was my little funny story of the day. All right, how many more do we got? 42 more to go. Do, 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 do. I'm surprised he could uh, shoot that shot around that, like that. 
Considering I leveled up in this video, I'm doing pretty solid on uh, moving towards my next level, too. Do, 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 do. Eat some shrooms, cast some Xeras. Boop, 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 boop. So I was looking at the monsters that I can task when I hit level um, 50, right? Just like to have an idea of what I'll be doing in the future, right? So like, it's not like I haven't done this before, but you know, I want to like plan my leaf videos out and everything like that. So uh, I'm like looking at the task monsters because again, I pretty much exclusively task, <laughs> exclusively. Um, <clears throat> unless like I have a solid reason to not, but okay. So I'm like looking at them, and uh, for starters, I'm not going to task anything unless it gives a boss at the beginning. Like, I would not task Terramites while I haven't finished Tarantulas. Um, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so, like, I'm looking at... Uh, there's five monsters I can task that give me bosses. Um, ice Golems, Crystal Spiders, uh, Ancient Scarabs, Bone Beasts, and... What are the other things? Crap. Uh, mutated Rats, right. So those are the five. So, as far as I know, there isn't a really decent spot for paladins to hunt mutated rats in large quantities. They're in the um, the alchemist quarter in Yalahar, but they're all, like, in small enclosed rooms, which is not really where a paladin wants to be fighting their things in. Um, they're also in the arena quarter, but I don't remember there being a lot of them in the arena quarter. But uh, if I try them there, that's where... It, I'll try it, probably the arena quarter, because I know they're not going to be any good at the alchemist quarter. Um, like, I, I just know that. A knight can do it at the alchemist quarter, okay, and probably, I guess, like, a mage, if you're going to be, like, just exploding them with, like, you know, runes and stuff like that, but probably at level 50, I'm going to be using a bow and arrow, and heavy hitting melee monsters in close range, in small enclosed spaces, are not what paladins want. Especially when they're using a bow. I mean, at least a mage can, you know, go defensive and use a shield if they need to. But anyway. Um, to that end, mutated rats. I might try mutated rats in the um, in the arena quarter. But the, uh, the wiki also mentions that you should probably try tasking mutated tigers at the same time. And I'm not going to do those two things because the tigers don't have bosses. Um, so, mutated rats are out of the equation. Um, ice golems and crystal spiders are solid, but the spiders are probably something I want to wait until I get, like, maybe level 60, 65, or something like that, maybe even 70. Um, because I would like to be a little bit faster, um, before I start messing with the crystal spiders. They're, like, moderately dangerous, too. Um, and pretty much anywhere you're going to be fighting ice golems, there's going to be crystal spiders there, too. So there's something you basically want to be tasking, like, simultaneously. So those two are out of the equation. Uh, and that leaves me with Bone Beasts and Ancient Scarabs. Um, bone Beasts are solid. Uh, pretty decent for, like, a Paladin, too. They're uh, high, like, hard-hitting melee monsters, but uh, I think a Paladin should be fine with them. The only problem is there's not a lot of great spots to test them. Um, and then the spots to test them are also... Well, all right, hold on. That's actually not true, but... The two spots that you would normally task them uh, would be Ramoa, I think. Ramoa is the one. Yeah, Ramoa is the one. I'm pretty sure. Gorama is the one you get to when you get shipwrecked. Ramoa is the one with the bone beast, I think. Um. So yeah, you go to like Bone Beast Island and task them there, which is probably your best bet, and that's where I task them mostly on um, Dao Dao also. Um, it's just it's a pain. <laughs> to test them. <laughs> like, they are just a pain. Um, at least there. Um, I test them on Sylvius at Helheim, but both of those places, like, require annoying access quests to get to, um, and are generally, like, unpleasant in that sense. So, like, not a big deal, but yeah, not, not great. Uh, I'm not, like, super excited about either of those things. Uh, and then there is that it came out in the summer update, the same update that released this place, in fact. Um, 
the new, it's called like the Mother of Scarab Lair or something like that, that has Ancient Scarabs and Bone Beasts in it, which is probably where I'm going to be tasking first. Um, actually, I need to stop and think about that for a little while, though, because um, I definitely do not want to be in the same hunting spot for like 10 videos straight. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that would be Bone Beast, and then we also have Ancient Scarabs. Um, Ancient Scarabs are found in Lion's Rock, which is not a terribly good spot for Paladins. Small enclosed areas, uh, a lot of staircases going up into rooms with, like, several of them. That thing that Tibia just loves. Um, but, I mean, several, uh, Scarab Caves, all of them that have Ancient Scarabs at the bottom. Except I think one doesn't, for some reason. I think. I could be wrong. Uh, plus the Mother of Scarab Cave that came out in the update, and then the update also came out with another um, Ancient Scarab spot. I know uh, the first time I tasked Ancient Scarabs, I did not enjoy it at all. Um, and was, like, wasting massively. This was all on Sylvius. Um, the reason why was... Um, and I was using Firewalls, but I was still, like, wasting massively. And the reason why was because I was using uh, Enchanted Spears, and the lack of range on a, like, hasteable, fast enemy that also paralyzes is just a disaster. <laughs> like, being that close to the Ancient Scarab, even using Firewalls, just meant that I was constantly getting meleeed with them. Um, but that said, yeah, I mean, like, I know to get around that, so we'll be using a Composite Hornbow and uh, Onyx Arrows for that. Um... <clears throat> That said, I, like, the only other character I really fought them with was, um, Dow Dow, and she's a knight, so, I mean, she doesn't use firewalls for anything, but, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little hesitant about how well this will work, um, because Sylvius is on a non-PVP server, and I can walk through my own walls without any problems. I'm pretty sure if I walk through my own walls on Leaf, I'll be taking damage all the time. So I'm not sure exactly how well that'll work. Um, that's largely a moot point for uh, the mutated rats, because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't need to use the walls on mutated rats. Um, and then the the ice golems and the crystal spiders, I guess I could. You'd have to use energy walls, and I really dislike using energy walls. Um... Plus, the place I'd be tasking those guys at is uh, Nibbler, 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 something like that. The uh, the ice caves. That I have to do an annoying access quest to get to, but whatever. Come to think of it, I mean, really, to do anything in Svargron in the first place, you have to do an annoying access quest, but... Ignoring that for the moment. Uh, let's eat some shrooms real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, ignoring that for a moment... The place I'd be tasking them, Nibelor, 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 whatever, is, uh, like, relatively open. <clears throat> and not, like, uh... The, the monsters are spread out far enough that I probably wouldn't want to use walls. Because I'd have to, like... One wall would be, like, good for one monster, essentially. Maybe two. Especially with ice walls that don't last... I'm sorry, uh, energy walls that don't last long. Like, if it was firewalls I was using... That would be an entirely different situation because firewalls, you know, I can throw a firewall here, loop around, and my firewall will still be active. Um, not so much with energy walls. So if I was able to use energy walls there, I'm sorry, firewalls there, God, I'm saying all the wrong things. At least I'm not saying ice walls anymore because that's not even a thing. If I was using firewalls, I might be able to get a little bit more bang out of my buck, so to say with them, but with energy walls, I'm gonna, like, run into one, uh, crystal spider, put that on an energy wall, kill the crystal spider, and then, like, run into one ice golem, and then start running back to the crystal, uh, to the, uh, the energy wall, and by the time, like, I get him to the energy wall, the energy wall is gonna be gone. So, anyway, uh, my, my tentative plan at this point is, um, bone beasts and whatchamacallit. Bone Beast and... God, I cannot remember the word. Ancient Scarabs, for starters. But that's still a while away. I was just uh, planning out... Oh, hey, look at that. We're done here. Die. 
So that was 301. I'm just going to run past everybody now. This is probably going to kill me. I'm going to get stuck in this hallway. I mean, it totally can't kill me. They're monsters I can push out of my way, for starters. And I don't think they can deal enough damage for me to really be at thir- uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll be fine. There right, we go. And we're out. So we are just going to boat our way back to um, Port Hope, turn this one in, <clears throat> pick up stone golems and uh, gargoyles, and then get our way to Svargrad, and then I'll end my video there, I suppose. Sure, that sounds right. Actually, while I'm in Port Hope, I might do a little bit of uh, depot organization. Light depot organization. Very light depot organization. <laughs> I'm basically going to just sell the Tusk Shields and then deposit a bunch of the gold that's just sitting in my depot. And probably parcel the stuff to Dao Dao that needs to go to Dao Dao. I saw that warrior helmet and um, I think I had like Terra Boots in there. Also how are we doing on EXP? Eh. What is that, like 33% about? Nah. Oh, it's really close actually. 34, 35% of the way there. Yeah, I was really close when I said 33. Go me. Go me. Also, my distance went up. I'm 96 now. I gotta change the thing. Do, 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 do. See, I'm not sure what I should do with another shield. Should I buy another shield? I feel like wasting any amount of money on a shield is... Blinked he died. That's kind of an awesome name. Props to that person. Hi, Porty Hopi. Yesy. Um. Yeah, I feel like just any money I spend on a uh, on a shield is just wasted money at this point. Because I'm basically going to use shields for what another seven levels. And then give up on shields and just pretty much exclusively use a bow. I mean, I could get a vampire shield, but those are super expensive and are only one point better. I could get a demon shield, which is really light and also kind of cool looking. Whereas the vampire shield is not cool looking. But I could do that. But I don't know how I feel about that. Demon shields are pretty expensive. I could just go all in and get a, uh, a mastermind shield, but that's gonna cost me quite a bit and is gonna interfere with the bow. I'd rather hold on to the money for now, I think. I remember on Dao Dao when I was turning in my, uh, my one quest here. Wrong button. The EXP was what set me over level 80 on Dao Dao. Or no, over 50. Sorry, yeah, over 50. All right, we are going gargoyles. I bet I spelled that wrong, did I? Yes, 200 gargoyles. All right, task, and we're going with stone golem. Nice, 200 of each of these is kind of not bad. I kind of prefer uh, the things that are like kill small amounts. Oh, I forgot that I sell the Terramite stuff to Grizzly Items. Mm. Probably, yeah, alright. We'll go... We'll go sell those. Hi, Center. Should probably spell it correctly, huh? Do, 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 do. Alright, we need to... Look through all these depot boxes. All right, empties, empty, not empty. Weird assortment of things, though. Oh wow! All right, let's go upstairs and hit the pause it all real quick. This is like the part where probably it's like not really important for people to watch, but it's cool. I don't know. I don't know, folks. This is like when I'm not really sure about the best way to handle things. 
at these videos. Boop. All right, inbox is empty. I don't even see. I didn't even take note of which one I was at when I found those two items. I was like, oh man, out of inventory space. Crap. Now I gotta like do things and then just stop paying any kind of attention. That was box IX. All right, empty, 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 empty. Filled with stuff. All right. Filled with stuff. We just like get this all moving at this point. All right. What was that? Two. Okay. So then one is my primary one. All right. We've got that, which is pointless. Creature product. Creature product. Junk. Let's just throw that away. Needs to be sold in a random place. Food, we're going to keep inside of the. Alright, I guess we're not going to keep it inside of that one. Um, put that in the depot. Food goes back. The bolts we'll hold on to. We're going to sell that. The spears we're going to hold on to. We're going to sell the honeycomb. Honeycomb. I'm going to put my own offer in, though. Is there a reason why I can't make an offer for it? You're all sorts of annoying game right now. <laughs> Comb. Alright. Solid 1k. Can't complain. Alright, what do we got? Arrows, arrows, we're gonna hold on to those. Alright, hold on. Let me let me do this slightly less stupidly. I guess we'll hold on to that. I don't know what value that has. Drop that behind. Drop that behind. Oh I forgot I did not play it all during the Christmas, so all of these uh, Christmas tokens I just completely forgot existed. That's moderately annoying. I do not need that many of those on me. Let's go with, we'll just keep nine on me. Creature product, creature product, creature product, creature product, creature product. All right, we'll throw the backpack in there because you never know when you do in fact need a backpack. Um, gonna throw that in there. All right, we're gonna creature product. I'm just going to view all these things as food sources. I don't know if any of these are valuable, but I don't care. Alright, so that's my backpack taken care of. Now, what else do we have in here? Creature product. I'm going to go sell these to Grizzly Adams. I'm going to take that to go deposit it. That needs to get mail to Dow Dow. And I'm going to throw all the mail, mail to Dow Dow stuff instead of the one backpack. That gets sold to an NPC. That gets sold to an NPC. That gets mailed to Dow Dow. That gets held on to. Mailed to Dow Dow. Sold to an NPC, deposited, and what do we get over here? Dow Dow, and Dow Dow. And don't have enough capacity, great. Okay. And sold, and is a food item. Okay, perfect. So yeah, we're just gonna go sell all this crap. I'm at the wrong NPC. Plus shields, three of them, bows, two of them. Give me a label. Whoops. Give me a label. <laughs> and give me a parcel. Dow, Dow. I gotta hop on Dow Dow too and have her access um, the house on um, in Svargrand and let me into it. Alright. So we sell this to our Reddit, sell the small emeralds to Dow Dow, to Dow Dow, to Dow Dow, to Dow Dow, and to Dow Dow. Alrighty. Okay. Before I go, I'm going to put in an offer actually for 
a few things. Um, minor trophies. Oh, awesome. These are like shockingly inexpensive right now. I'll put my offer in at 350 and go in for 21 of them. Uh, what other types of trophies can I sell at my current level? Trophy? Not demon trophies, that's for sure. There was another one I could sell to him that I usually sold to him. Eh. Hold on. Oh, Cyclops trophies. Wow, I feel stupid right now. Alright, and I'll do 350 again. And the other thing I want to get are Tusk Shields. Uh, tusk Shields. I'll buy mine at 500, I think. Let's go with 550. Um, yeah, alright. And I guess... I'm not going to bother with Hydra Eggs, because they're a hassle to sell. So, all right. Offers in. It'll be a couple of... a little while until I uh, hop back in. I'm not going to make my way to Swargron now. I'm going to log out after I go back to Grizzly and sell the creature products I have. Hi, East. Yes. And I'll just log out the trainers here. So when we come back for my next video, I'll go sell all that crap that I just put offers in for. And uh, we'll be golden at that point. Alrighty. Just on a side note, I'm a character that doesn't have blessings, and I'm sitting on 50k in my inventory right now. Which is always, just always a great approach. Anyway, people, as we're walking to the logout place, uh, you should like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, you know, people, you could just click on the ads that show up in my videos, too. It's all super disappointing. Uh, I wasn't really expecting a lot out of... So, I wasn't expecting to make any kind of money off of ads. I was also not expecting to get any type of views, though. When I initially... Like, when I started doing all this, I was like, what can I expect? And I expected, like, 20 views per day. Uh, which I figured would be, like, zero ad revenue. Um, I'm getting a lot more views per day. Like, in the orders of, like, 10 to 15 times that or something like that. Uh, but I'm still getting no ad revenue because everybody uses ad blocker, as disappointing as that is. Anyway, people, I will see you guys later again. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, subscribe on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. I will see you folks later.